Okay, so another example here of a telescoping series. Here we're going to think about the series from n equals 1 up to infinity of the natural logarithm of n plus 2 over n. And at first, maybe this doesn't quite look like a telescoping series. Um, you know, if you write things out, it's not going to be readily clear. Usually when I think about telescoping series, you know, I think about all the things canceling out. And to me, if I were to start just expanding this out, I don't, you know, it wouldn't be obvious how things are canceling out. But remember, we can use some properties of logarithms, and we can rewrite this as the natural logarithm of n plus 2 minus the natural logarithm of n. So let's think about, again, you know, what would happen if we had just a, a, a partial sum. Let's say from n equals 1 up to k of the natural logarithm of n plus 2 minus the natural logarithm of n. Well, let's see, we could plug in n equals 1. That would give us the natural logarithm of 3 minus the natural logarithm of 1. Plus, well, let's see, we would plug in 2, so we'd have ln of 4 minus ln of 2. And then we could plug in 3, so ln of 5 minus ln of 3. I'm going to write a couple more terms. Uh, ln of 6 minus ln of 4, and maybe one more. ln of 7 minus ln of 5. So again, notice this is our n equals 1 term, n equals 2, n equals 3 n equals 4, n equals 5, etc. So let's see. Uh, let's suppose we summed up the first three terms. Um, ln of 1 is just 0, so we can forget about that. But if we summed up the first three terms, it looks like the ln of 4 is going to be you know, left over. We've got negative ln of 2. Um, it looks like the ln of 3 and the negative ln of 3 would cancel out. So we would be left with ln of 4 minus ln of 2 plus ln of 5. Okay. Well, if we sum up, say, the first four terms, it looks like the uh, ln of 4 and the ln of 4 are going to cancel out. If we sum up the first uh, five terms, now it looks like the ln of 5 and the ln of 5 will cancel. So generically, it looks like to me um, the ln of 3 would get canceled out. The uh, ln of 1 is just 0 anyway. I don't see how the negative uh, ln of 2, uh, you know, there's nothing that's going to cancel out with the ln of 2. Assuming, you know, we went up to, say, uh, n equals 5, it looks like we're left with, uh, so our negative ln of 2, and then we're left with ln of, I guess, let's see, so if we stopped at n equals 5, we've got one larger, so ln of k plus 1, and then it looks like we would be left with also ln of k plus 2, squeeze that in there. So um, let's write this one more time. So it says, again, we're getting negative ln of 2 plus ln of k plus 1 plus ln of k plus 2. So this, to me, looks like what we're going to get for the value of our partial sum. And now what we're going to do is, to evaluate the sum, well, we're going to say, well, the sum from n equals 1 to infinity of the natural logarithm of n plus 2 minus the natural logarithm of n, what we're going to get in this case is, well, we'll have the limit as k goes to infinity of the partial sum, n equals 1 to k, of again, a, a natural logarithm of n plus 2 minus the natural logarithm of n. So this is going to be the limit as k goes to infinity. And we're left, let's see, I guess with negative ln of 2. And then we've got uh, ln of k plus 1 plus ln of k plus 2. But in this case, as k goes off to infinity, um, you know, this term is going to go to infinity. The second term, or excuse me, the second term is uh, infinity. The third term is also going to go off to infinity. So we have negative ln of 2 plus a couple infinities. Well, this is going to go off to infinity, and in this case, we would just simply say that this is an example of a divergent series.